Okay, today's review comes courtesy of my friends at GearBest. So this review sample was free, but as always, my opinions on this product are my own. Let's have a look and see what they've sent me. Okay, now it's a product from Xiaomi. Now, when I say I'm reviewing something from Xiaomi, you might imagine this is going to be a mobile phone. But actually, no. This is the Xiaomi SciShare coffee machine. So, did you know that Xiaomi makes a range of kitchen and household appliances? I didn't, but now I do. So, they've sent, so GearBest have kindly sent me the SciShare coffee machine. And this is a coffee machine, an espresso machine, that takes these little pods in order to make coffee. So, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so that's, I think, a box of coffee pods. We'll have a look at that in a moment. There's a card there with, uh, not with English language on it. There's a, an instruction manual, also not in English, with no English on it. So uh, we could have to figure this out for ourselves, or maybe I'll go online and see if, I, see if there's an English version on their website. Um, a little thing, a widget. I think that's probably the tray that the cup sits on. The machine itself. <laughs> that's part of something for another review, so we'll have a look at that later. Can you guess what that is, meanwhile? So that's the machine itself. It looks like there's very little assembly required, which is good. Let's get it unpacked and see what it actually looks like and get a feel for the quality of the build and so on. So the build quality seems pretty solid. Um, there's a metal lever at the top here. The coffee pod goes in there. All very straightforward. There's a shelf here that clips on for your cup. I'll figure out how to fit that later. There's a water tank here that's detachable. So we put our water in there and that clips back onto the back of the machine with bayonet fittings. I don't know what kind of plug that is, so I'm going to have to go off today and see if I can find an adapter for that plug. I thought I was going to get the EU version, which I do have adapters for, but this is something else and I don't have a converter for it. So I'll find one today. So the instruction manual doesn't include an English section. But to be honest, I think from the diagrams, it all looks incredibly straightforward. So I don't think we're going to have a problem with it. Let's have a look at these coffee pods that come with it. It comes with 40 pods. So Mocha Intense. Yeah, okay, so there's two of those variety and one each of those. So, you know, um, let's have a look at one of the capsules themselves. There we go. Now, I'm sure you've seen capsules like this, and the manufacturers, Xiaomi, have been very, very careful not to mention brand names that it was compatible with, but I think when you look at that, you can probably figure out what that might be compatible with. So I think we'll cut there, and then we'll go off and find an adapter for that, and we'll come back and make some coffee. Okay, so it's time to test this machine. So I couldn't find an adapter for this style of plug, but the supply voltage is 240 volts. So I just cut that off and wired on a UK standard three pin plug, and that'll be fine. So we're gonna test it out with, these are the coffee capsules that came with it, but also it is compatible with other systems, shall we say. So. I've got these capsules, which came from uh, Lidl, and I've got these capsules that you may be familiar with the brand name of. So I think what we'll do first, we'll run one of these through it just to see what it functions like. So we need to put some water in the little water tank. Are there markings? Well, there's a maximum fill level. We're not going to go anywhere near that. So let's put some water in there. There's a little valve at the bottom, which opens and allows water into the machine. 
So that's the little water tank. We'll fit that on the back here. I'm going to do a drinking glass actually so that we can see the coffee pouring. I'll need to get to grips with this size setting. So at the moment I'm just going to leave that in the middle. So let's plug it in. Switch it on. Put in a little pod and they drop in to that slot there. You can't really go wrong with that. Press it down and wait I guess. Okay, so that's made a smallish cup of coffee with what I can see is quite a nice Kramer layer on the top there. Let's have a sniff. I'm probably not going to drink that one because it's the first one through the machine. And I think, you know, there might be dust or any number of contaminants in there from the manufacturing. So I think we'll probably leave that one aside. And then we'll make ourselves some coffee using the pods. Let us get some little cups together. So I think we're going to have to turn that down to a smaller cup size. So let's test. This is the coffee that was supplied with the Xiaomi coffee maker. We'll try that one first. Okay, I think I got the size setting about right. So that is the a bit of a persistent drip at the end there, actually. I think we we'll probably have to leave that sitting for a, a while. So that one is the Xiaomi, the coffee as supplied. Now we're going to go for the Lidl's own brand. Interesting. Bit of an overflow problem there. That's interesting. That must have then resisted the flow a bit less. So that's fine. Okay, going to make a bit of a mess here, but whatever. Okay, and finally, we're going to go for the well-known and popular brand. That's going to overflow as well, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to stop that, I think. Mm, I can't stop it. Okay. Okay, overflow. Again, interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, it, I guess what we've proven here is the drip tray works. So... So let's get in close and have a taste of these coffees. Okay, so let's have a taste of these three coffees then. So starting with the own brand one that came with the with the machine. Hmm. Well, that's a nice cup of espresso. Okay, next, this is the little brand coffee. I'm gonna have to spill a little bit in order to pick that up. So let's have a little taste of that one. Mm, quite not not a bad cup of espresso that. Um, perhaps a little bit lacking on the aroma. And now the uh, famous brand that comes in little pods like this. Let's have a taste of that one. Okay, well that's that's interesting because that's really really intense. I guess that goes to show you what you're paying the extra money for. That's definitely a more intense and flavorful cup of espresso than the other two. So that's interesting. I mean all three of those were nice cups of coffee, but I think actually I probably am seeing the value of these little pods here. So there we go. The machine itself seems to work pretty well. Interesting that the cup size was a bit unpredictable depending on what kind of pods I used. I think that was what was controlling it. 
So when I used the own brand pods that came with it, I got just about the right cup on the one third size setting. Whereas on the other two pods, I got more than a full cup. These are tiny cups, I have to say, but more than a full cup on these uh, pods. So I've made a little bit of a mess here. I'm probably going to wipe up and then demonstrate it working at its best. Just one thing we haven't already looked at, which is this part comes off and that's where the empty pods are collected and it looks like it could probably hold about maybe six or seven pods in that section there. Oh, it's, it doubles up. I think you can take that piece out. Oh, that's the thing that gathers the pods. That's the thing that gathers the dregs. So, okay, I've now got the shelf on the higher setting. You see there's two different places you can put that depending on the size of your cups. So I've got that cup on the, that shelf on the higher setting, which I think is probably better for my tiny espresso cups. I'm going to turn down the dial so that we've got three little dots there. And I think hopefully that should give me a cup that doesn't overflow. So we'll try this now one more time with one of the, aren't they a lovely colour? These are the kind of official brand, shall we say, of coffee pods, capsules. So in it goes, nice and easy to close there. And we'll press the button and see if we get a just a full but not overflowing cup of coffee this time. Perfect, how about that? So I think it goes without saying that you will have to experiment a little bit with the dial to suit the exact volume of your cups. There is a guide on the top here, which supposedly tells you the volume in milliliters, but who knows the volume of your cups in milliliters? So I think it's just a case of you'll find the right level for your own little cups. And so there we go. That's my perfect little cup of espresso with a wonderful crema layer on the top there. Let's have a, have a little taste. Oh, look at that. That is just a delightful little cup of espresso. So what are we going to say about this machine? It's incredibly solidly built. I'm really impressed with the build quality of this machine. The, even down to things like this lever on the top here, solid piece of metal here. There's just no wiggle or slack in the mechanism at all. Uh, everything just seems to work. It all fits together very nicely and I'm thoroughly impressed with the construction of the machine. And it's definitely compatible with not only the capsules that come with it, but it's compatible with other brands of capsule coffee, such as these, which I bought at Lidl, and these that I bought at a very boutique stand in West Quay. And the important thing is, it makes a really good cup of espresso. And quickly. As you probably know, if you've seen my food videos before, I don't have a very large kitchen, but this thing has earned itself a place. I hope that's been useful. I've thoroughly enjoyed testing this machine and I look forward to thoroughly enjoying the coffee it produces. There is a voucher code in the description below and a link to buy this on gearbest.com who kindly provided this sample. That link is an affiliate link so you, so if you click and buy that way I do make a small commission from that sale. But you know if you object to that idea then please do feel free to google it up yourself and, and visit Gearbest or wherever to buy this without using my links. So I'm thoroughly pleased with this and I recommend it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.